Hello, this is um, anti-disestablishmentarianism, and I'll be doing a weaponless P% speedrun, wherein don't pick up weapons at all. No time timer, just for the sake of it. Time is important, but not my utmost concern. It's more so not dying. And getting the um, key rates. Because I've had too many runs where I get like two minutes into a boss fight and then I just freaking die. And I just lose 30 minutes of a recording. Not like that happened just like two minutes ago. That wouldn't that would be insane if I got that happened just now, right? But otherwise, the early game is very easy. All things can be either exploded or one shot. Very easy. Stop those guys, because we need to worry about style. Okay, times for level one. Level 2 is a couple of crushers, you gotta make sure to avoid those, otherwise you'll die and you have to restart. There we go, we got all the kills there. I've missed those once or twice. The blender, something I'll be using all throughout this run to save time and get more style. If you get the, um... The, um, the air bonus, the multiplier, as well as um, you get air slam bonuses, which give lots of style as well, on top of the modifiers, say, with the modifiers give tons of style. And the whiplash, as I mean whiplashing a bunch, it resets the animation for the fist. So you don't have, so you can use the fist more often. Be it blue or red. I assume that's all you're going to be using for the majority of the time. Whiplashing a bunch is mandatory. It means hard damage builds up, but you're healing so often that most of the time it's not that big a deal. And zero three, where you fight Sword Machine and pick up his shotgun arm. It's not his arm, but whatever. You pick up his shotgun. I'm going to be doing it down here, so I don't have to worry about picking it up in the later fights. Okay, I just gotta... Let's just punch him from a distance. Punch from a distance, I don't want to risk picking it up. Like that. Be a later nerd. Whatever, don't mind. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm not worried about time. I'm more... I'm just glad that I didn't pick up the shotgun. Hello? That was weird. Even though I was whiplashing with him, he just teleported right back to the ground. Pull those guys into the into the kill zone. And then the rest of the source machine fight is stupid easy. lower than normal, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And the rest of the game up until the Corpse of King Minos is a cakewalk. He 
these two things here, you gotta remember these guys. You can blend with these guys as well. Don't forget all these little dudes, you can just kill them all at once or you can wait till they get closer together. Get tons of style. It's way over necessary, but almost sub 40. Cerberi, relatively um, meaningless fight. It's a matter of how fast you can do it. It's a matter of just slamming on top of them to do extra damage. That and the knuckle blast explosion will hit both of them, so you get a little bit of multi-target damage, which is more than zero. You can kind of see me trying to get the the combos off with the like, slamming, but it's harder to do a with two Cerberi. And um, there we go. Got the dive. I have done it below one minute before, but not worried about that right now. See, so this level you pick up the nail cannon, but you don't even need to worry about that. You don't need the kills from that for the um, for the key rank. So I kind of need like a lot less kills than are actually in the level. Like apparently it's something like 75 or something like that. But I've been able to get like 82 kills, even with the, um, with missing the um, more beasts that is later in the level. So excuse me, such take extra damage when they're in the air. Avoid that. But stuff like um, the husks like these are, uh, take extra damage when in the air and on fire. So when you pick up a skull, you're able to do tons of extra damage to them. There we go. And get extra style because you get the finished off bonus. To enemies that can be set on fire. Look at the style meter there. Finished off. Uh, something, someone's been calling me. I'll get it once this level is over. Oh, that's just text message. Let me sure you guys could hear that. I'm glad if you did it, otherwise I don't have no I don't have the ring around anyway, so you didn't hear anything in particular. See that and I found out from um I found out from one of the speedrun moderators. Um, you can pause in the middle of a run. As long as the recording is continuous, it should be fun. I just gotta freaking check my phone for like two seconds to see who it was freaking called me. Oh, it looks like there's something important. Alright. Moving on to the next level. One, two, you have to go to certain parts of the level to activate enemies. Notable spots being up here. Gotta walk up here, those guys spawn, and over those guys there. Then you can do the blender to save. Time. You do get hit a couple times, but I'm missing one, like you. I'm not worried too much about taking damage because, as I said, you constantly heal because you're constantly killing things. But even with the hard damage that you that you will build up, you don't you ultimately um, you very feel most of the time you don't really feel it. Sometimes you do get a slightly low on HP and you have to worry about enemies 
actually killing you. And most of the time is um they when when a um tree cleaner splatters. Okay, no, there's no more enemies. Good. I had to wait a second. But now I can move on to here with two more. So the street can freaking avoid your attack. But they aren't immune to explosions like the um the uh, the soldiers. Say so for new, for those new people here, the soldiers used to be immune to explosions. I think it was Act Two where they um, recruit with um, Nikita put that in. They used to be um the um like a stronger, like a, like a stray with a more powerful attack. But now they're but now they're actually like slightly different from all the other enemies. Like now they're actually different. Okay, one three, I go blue path first, so I can get all the style from this. Try to grind all the style you can, like the blender. Avoiding getting hit as much as you can. Friendly fire bonuses on um, Maurice's do lots of style. Okay, those enemies are gone. Skill gives me fire. No, but I can't edit it out because it's a speed run. Okay, so I don't have to put it in. It could be annoying. I would edit it out, but editing out is uh, against the rules. To keep the con continuity, you don't want to accidentally let in a splice to run. Lots of fire. Say the soap. You don't get style from the soap. So the only time you get style from the soap is if you get a multi-kill with like enemies in a line. And you can't guarantee that, so it's better to get the S beforehand. There we go. Now I can put this pedestal. Go through here. Pick up the soap. And make sure you don't punch with it. Because otherwise you throw the soap. And that's not good. You need to keep it around. Use on all the enemies. See, like multi kills, you do get um, style for. But you get those regardless of what happens to an enemy. You can get a multi kill from a Maurice. Um, the enemy getting Maurice. Let's see. You get, also, drones are annoying because you gotta dash through them to avoid their um, explosion attack. Like that, otherwise, you take tons of damage. See, that guy's dead though. There we go. And I won't throw the soap this time. And just whiplash them in a row like that. I already have the S on style, so it doesn't matter. So you think legit does like a million damage, so it's nothing to matter. And you don't need to worry about picking up the skull. It doesn't activate that thing there, so you can just ignore it. You really need to use that thing, damage. There we go. That's an important call that I'll get back to in a moment. But I can just head through here. And then all of a sudden you're back at the beginning. And pink. It's an heirloom. Alright. I'm gonna have to leave it in because I have to keep it valid for the speed run leaderboard. I'm gonna be taking a poopy or back.
Hello, I'm back. The poop was good. Off topic from that, Claire de Lune V2 doesn't get mad in the first fight when you punch him with his own arm because he still has it. He isn't jealous. He just assumes that you found a she found a copy somewhere. Are you still with that? There's a friendly fire from the bolts coming back and hitting him. Also does tons of damage. There we go. I've done that faster before, but it's not the end of the world. As I mentioned before, it's not all about speed, considering I had to go take a shit and then run. It's more so... so that it takes... The um, really boards take into account um, in-game time, not... And not the uh, real time. So it's not the end of the world. But yeah, commentary's gonna start going down at this point, just because um, the game actually starts to take um, needs to be taken seriously. English is my first language. show y'all the enemies that y'all are missing in the P rank of this level. It's not here. It's here. This guy. He only spawns on he only spawns on the first side that you go to. So um, if you go to the left side, he won't spawn on the right, and vice versa. Make sure that guy stays dead. Boing. I already had the style points anyways. Wait, what is the... Is one up here? Impressive. There we go. S and kills. Now you can go do this level as well. And P rank it. Without the trouble that it normally gives you. There is a soft lock in this level that I discovered the hard way, which you can find on my channel. This is a that was a prelude to this video that is coming up. here to fight uh, Maurice here. And there we go. Now I can listen to the music to figure out that I need to go to the next arena. There we go. Gotta make sure you get this room with 25 kills because drones will spawn behind you. I just put it to the ceiling there for a second. One more. Like that. I'll say something as well. Most attacks in the game 
I deal only uh, 35 damage or 25 damage. Notable exceptions being things from the hideous mass, I believe do like 40 and 60. And uh, um, the Maurice's beam does 50. But otherwise, if you're above 50 HP, so you gotta skip the skip the rail cannon pick up there with Chiquita thankfully left in. There we go. Now avoid that lamppost. It is a death trap in the making. Now that you've avoided it, there's nothing else of harm in this level that at least will stop me. Because everything else is like nothing else is gonna kill me. Unless I somehow do something truly idiotic. I don't know if Big Fist Kill gives more style than a Ground Slam Kill. I have no idea. I, I think I missed this one actually. Yes. Not the end of the world. I don't mind wasting like three seconds to go back up to get it. Two, three sheer heart attack has a couple of uh. Um, has an arena that has a ton of instant death traps that I have that you have to worry about, but otherwise you're fine. Sorry, my alarm is going off on my phone. Something that's out of date, and I don't even know why I have it on my phone anymore. But with that out of the way, this is map. It's just more punching enemies. It gets more interesting and such in the later levels, and when I get to the levels, I definitely will be shutting up. Just because I don't want to die and lose all my progress. Let's go. I go here, normally. I'm not sure if this is a secret area or not. It probably is. But... I don't really care that much. It gets me to where I need to be. This room has um, crushes on the floors, so whenever you're going, like you slam on the ground, make sure you have solid ground beneath you that you're going to land on. Like that. Hey, I think that sometimes I like enemies just like teleport to the ground. On. There we go. Just avoid that. Don't want to take any risks. Now is mind flare time. You can is to kill it. Worst case scenario, I'll pair them back into it. I just don't bother most of the time. If you can insta-kill, I've seen people do it. I've seen people do it backwards, even. I'm not sure if that's easier. It might be, who knows. Well, they got to get it, most likely. There we go, I just the, the projectiles there so they weren't a threat. Or else you just dodge the laser. And then you can blend go to get rid of the small enemies. There we go. <sighs> Back to where I died last time. Corpse of King Minos. The hand fight. Can't ignore it like you can at any percent. Because you don't have the freaking... The core nuke. To launch yourself over the large, large gap. Well, I found a way that you can't... I, I heard that you can click into the walls and go above the level. I just don't know if that would still trigger the um, the hand or not. 
That and the hand is kind of tricky as well because there's an invisible wall. You could punch beyond it, but you have to kind of wait for the fingers to poke out from behind the wall. Then they'll telegraph the opposite right slam, ground slam, and then right slam again. Right slam, left slam. Right slam, down slam, no, pause. Right slam. Right slam. There we go, finally. I'm not worried about time too much because Parrying King Minos does lots of damage. And lots of style as well, so even if you were low on style at the beginning, which you probably won't be, assuming you're in the air the whole time. right before you go for the parry I found makes it easier. That and the stage of the damage. There we go. Woo! That's the I think this is the best I've ever gotten so far in a recording. Up to gluttony. 3-1 isn't an issue. 6-1 definitely is an issue. 6-1 you will definitely have problems. That's easy though. start shutting up just because don't want to screw anything up in this now that I've done the new best. This fight is really much really a pushover. You just gotta make sure you kill them both relatively at the same time, equalize the damage. So in the time it takes to get the spawn. There we go. Now he's not in a rage. There we go. Bingo. Into, um, I forget what this is supposed to be called. The haunted mouth. Haunted house or whatever. No real walls to do, um, so I just go around the normal route, because that's how I know to activate all the enemies. And then we get the drone. Get the kill. Do a bit more, go around town. Street clean is here. There we go. And then you get the six soldiers. get the first arena.
Just make sure you don't get cocky. There we go. The hard part's over. The next arena is actually easier. You can leave these guys into the acid, but it gets faster to do it like that. If you didn't have enough style points before, now you do. Make sure to get the mind flare. You do disrespect bonuses for punching the mind player like you would a boss. <sighs> there we go. Gabriel fight. A lot of his parries are really tricky to hit. Sometimes they don't even do damage, they just are hard to connect. But thankfully he stands still and taunts you way more often makes this fight much easier than the second fight his second fight his parry windows are much harder because he def he lunges during his attacks you need to get to parry like to, unless you're right next to him the parry window is um with the window which you're close enough to parry is very tight i'm gonna shut up for this though You can parry those swords but that's that is circle around by the way. There we go. <sighs> Now, I believe I can just exit and go directly to Act 2. It says in the normal P% percent that you can just, after defeating Gabriel, you can just go directly to Act 2. You don't have to watch the cutscene for the sake of IRL and in, for the sake of sanity and IRL time. Now I'm gonna shut up like a ton more. Because great to greed. Has a lot more style points are needed, as well as um, time. Because if I'm doing badly, time can be an issue. Virtues, most most annoying and most threatening enemy in the game for sure. See, level 1 isn't that big of a deal. It's level 2 that's the problem. You can get the arenas with the um, dual power-ups. That are made for the dual power-up, but you don't have a dual power-up. And you gotta kill all the enemies, obviously, to get this pain rank.
go. This arena isn't that bad, but level two, as I said, is it like one of the toughest levels in the game to do weapons. Because if you have all your weapons, you double the power up, just make it a breeze, and that's the whole point. Now we get to the actually scary part of the run. And also the next half of it. <laughs> this thing, like three and a half, three minutes, one minute, and then like two, three, six, and then like five, and yeah, long time. Sand enemies can't heal. If you don't get the, um, the cylinder enemies, and the, that, um, sand is Cerberus, it can easily be a game over there. I like just ignoring this first Maurice for now and starting this arena first. I don't care if this Maurice gets sanded, I'll just kill other enemies instead. Oh, okay. My heart's beating now. Just drop this off there for now, because I'll get enough style points from this next arena anyways. the fight with the insurrectionists. Well, insurrectionist. I'm not doing P2, thank the lord. It's not required for a weapon this P percent. Good time as well. I've had all the way up to 315 a couple times. Especially when I was first doing the double. There he is. How do you tell no one's gonna telegraph his um his like jump throw? Because you you can telegraph the jump slightly, but you don't know if he's gonna do. 
the royal count. Ooh, really good time. Yeah, only like 18 seconds off. Okay. In the dark. Is that the name? A shot in the dark. A shot in the dark. And you're too lame to give love. Okay, I'm gonna stop now before I, this video gets copyright struck like three years from now. Say, style is a really big issue for this level. You gotta do all the blender strats and all that to make sure you have enough style for the end. And if I can find it, I'll use the soap as well. There we 16 kills. Now for this big arena. I think I might just do two. Just, just to be safe. I have died in this arena before. This is all the smaller enemies. I need to get some health back. Okay. I'm alive. And also really about style, like I said. I know that I get tons of style from There you go, ground slam. Yeah, I feel like I'm low on style, I'm pretty sure. No, I think I'm fine, as long as I can do good in this next year. Say as I get hit, and an, an exclusively punch. There we go. I feel like I have enough style points now. As long as I don't die in this next arena, I'll be fine. Okay, I'm definitely shut up now. That's the microphone. After this level, after this level, I'll fix the microphone. If I sound a little bit different, it felt it not fell over, but it moves. Okay, okay, this is going great right now. That's not great. Whatever, doesn't matter that much. That's better, that's better. Alright, B2. Unless I do terribly, I'm most likely not going to die here. It's just a matter of how fast am I going to complete it this time. Because he still does the shotgun, and the shotgun does tons of damage. You do the coin as well sometimes. There we go. 
Ooh, parry with the shot. Let's say with the pistol shot. That's nice. Oh, you went this way, bro. Die. Okay. All right. I've done faster. I have like parried one um, shock and shot, and then go directly into coins. Okay. It's not over yet, but I'm nearing the end. Like about. Like less than 15 minutes, most likely, in the speed run. Style for this level can also be an issue if you if I'm doing poorly. But I've been practicing like these levels in particular, like from like Act Two exclusively. I've been practicing a ton. Go this arena first, because it's the longest. Kill the virtue first. Don't screw this up. There we go. I can just use the thing, but I didn't want to there. You get the enraged bonus as well. Drop off this one. So drop it off. And then head to the Cerberi and the Maurice. Nice. Stop going to well, 1861. Well, plus a zero in there, but. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be good on style this level. Nice! Yeah, I already got an S, really. This is better than I've ever done before. And I found that sliding into a parry is helpful. Because it gives you the multiplier. You don't have to be in the air. 
I don't know why I'm bothering, because I already have the essence style. I need to be worried about not dying. Okay, the fire actually saved me there. I had the iframes from being hit by the fire. Go this way. Get the virtue. five minutes as well. When I first started I got a 530, I remember. It was 530 when I did it. Waves of Poseidon. Just don't choke. Like that. Just don't risk it. Remember, above 50 HP means you're most likely not going to be one shot. Huh? Did it go? It went inside? i never seen that before. What? Okay, no, I'm restarting. I'm restarting. I'm way too far down. I'm just gonna restart immediately. Normally, I said I didn't want to restart, but honestly, fuck that and fuck. Not you. You didn't do anything wrong. But that was. Well, I didn't expect him to go inside. First off, second off, um, fuck that sentry in particular. Forty-five seconds. I'm going to submit this, but just know that I'm forty-five seconds worth of stupid. I'm just so close to the end right now that I don't want to give up just yet. I say I do really want to kill someone right now. Just saying, not someone being the sentry in particular, but I'm honestly like livid. I'm just. I wonder though, does do virtues harm Cerberi? Like, should I be aiming to have them in the square, the circle? style points from see did I kill that guy? We'll find out. Yes I did, okay. And this one you don't need to get the red skull, you can just dive off of this. Make sure you just stay up a little from personal. So you can be right there when he shows the parry window. Oh. 
There we go. If I died any later in the level than that, I probably would have just freaking, like, jumped off a bridge. 5 3, Ship of Fools, one of the hardest arenas in the game. With the dual wield power up, that one's a pretty tricky one. And if I die there, I might actually just jump off a bridge, as I said. Not literally, but you understand my frustration. Take this skull to this side. And get tons of uh, finished off bonuses. Just my employer. Well, and this guy's on one HP. Yeah. There we go. You don't need to grab the red skull because you just need the blue one to open the door. Scooby Doo room. Storage to hop up. Someone else? Oh, there he is. Okay. Tough arena incoming. This one. See, the weapon pickup does nothing for me. At least they all go on the waves. There we go. Well, I need to get rid of my um, hard, hard damage now. There we go. I was below one hit KO range. Okay, that's something to feel like. You think you need to pick up the rocket, but the devs, th but Akita thought of that. There's a secret something up there that once you press it, it activates this thing, so you don't need to pick up the rocket launcher. I almost forgot about that.
There we go. I already got an essence style. Perfect. Yeah, the toughest part of the level is over. Those, um, these two street cleaners coming up after this server can be a bit tricky, but as long as you stand a explosion. Huh? Okay, he died anyways. It doesn't matter. Okay, these guys can be a bit tricky. There we go. Not to worry about the the achievement where you had to not touch water, so I honestly could care less. There we go. And that's a super fast time as well. At least for um at least for uh fistless or fist only. Leviathan, just wait say the style can be a problem, and just wait for it to do the fireball attack. And then you'll get tons of uh, bonuses. So you can parry that. I just wasn't ready. See, so the heart does 3x damage. To avoid falling off, I do um, I switch between the arms with the, the hotkey switch. No, this is just basically just waiting. If you want to, which I don't want to right now, you could go out and try to. There we go. Immediately, essence star. hit it, I would be able to parry it. There we go. Nice. It's like very wonky timing. There we go. Not bad either. I've gotten this sub uh, 110 before. But that was just with him spamming um Getting all the parries and him spamming his fireballs. Okay, toughest level on the run. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 toughest level on the run coming up. Did not mean to do that, but whatever. There we go. Don't forget these guys. Will these guys actually knock out the lights? There we go, nice damage. Knocking to the river, I don't care. I believe I have enough style, anyways. If anything, I'll grind for extra in the next arena just to be safe.
Like, I won't launch these the sentries off the ledge. Well, I guess I gotta go down here. Well, I guess I will. Just to be faster, though. Huh? Where's the last guy? Come on. I will knock that guy out because I'm worried about climbing. Out. Definitely need a little bit more style. Seventy eight kills to lead this arena. I definitely need the style of points. Oh dear lord, this is really bad actually. I need like 3,000. Last time too. Oh, I was worried for a second. Holy shit. Okay. This is more or less a formality. I can choke. But honestly, if I choke here, I don't know what I would do with myself.
<sighs> I died once. That pisses me off a lot. But honestly, I'll take... I'll have to take a death. I don't want to keep going. I want to put something. I, I, want to, I want to do something else. Please. Just... I'm just gonna, in my own head, take the time that I got, subtract 45 seconds. I'll look in the recording see how much time it was exactly. <sighs> Finally. Thank goodness. Goodness gracious me. <sighs> okay. Thank you all for stopping by. It's probably been over an hour at this point. If you watched the whole run, congratulations. Thank you for the watch time, as well as um, being interested in the fistless... Is it the fistless, the weaponless category? Let's see, let me check the timer. Hour and 15 minutes? Yeah, it's a long time. <laughs> Alright. See you guys later, eventually.